In my last video, I was super sleepy and now I am, I wouldn't say wide awake, but I'm more awake. <laughs> so good morning or good afternoon, technically. We were unboxing Pretty Choices Barbie in the last video and I'm having my coffee. I've got some pizzazz. If you haven't been here before, this channel is mostly about dolls. There's a few other things here, but if you love Barbie, I won't disappoint you, so hit that subscribe button. So, Pretty Choices Barbie, super cute. It took me, <laughs> it took me quite a bit of time to unbox the one Barbie. I was just really relaxed and sleepy. I had worked a long weekend. Went to the water park yesterday with my son and my sister and her kids, which was fabulous. And now I am back in my favorite room again. So, you know, there's always a bit of um, method and madness. And uh, I've unboxed quite a few pull-up dolls now, so I kind of have a little way that I do things. This will be the third Barbie that I've um, unboxed. Now the third 90s Barbie. Um, yet I've had to pick up some more recent Barbies. I actually am in love with and obsessed with fur coat Ken. I uploaded a short on him recently and I adore him. I would love him, but I don't know. I already promised um, to, to purchase these other 90s Barbie from the seller on Kijiji and there's only so much in my spending budget, so I don't know if I'll end up getting him. Although I was speaking with my partner during uh, the Barbie movie about making that outfit because I adored it so much. Um, and I was curious to know if they were going to make it. I didn't actually think that they would. But of course, the movie is still out in theaters, so um, why not um, make the Fur Coat Ken doll? Two year limited points. <laughs> Two years as of like 1990 something. So this is null and void. But I think it's just kind of cute to have. So we'll put that in the box. Okay. So I think I've got a little method down here. I'm definitely moving way faster than I did in the last video. If you actually watched that video, you're you're awesome. I know you rambled a little bit in the beginning, but I'm not alone. My sister is, um, you know, a, a, a social media influencer and she's got 200,000 subs, subs, followers on TikTok. And she also said that her content with her makeup on, uh, when she has makeup on, performs better than the content where she doesn't have makeup. and. It's kind of a shame, isn't it? But I guess people are just, you know, people are more apt to um, like your more polished aesthetic, I guess. Maybe we're, we're kind of programmed in a sense that way. Okay, so Pretty Choices Barbie. If you didn't see the box, this was the box in the other video. And she's got this gorgeous long hair. I, I mainly picked her for her long hair, but I also really, really love purple. Okay, okay. Oop. There we go. So this is probably getting boring for you guys here. Let me just be right back when the doll's out. I've managed to get her out of the box. Her hair is super long and so pretty. Oh my goodness, I may not have to restyle her hair at all. I'm gonna leave these little, like this little thread on her that has, that that's attached to her necklace as well as um, around like her waist. It's kind of holding her, her dress down. She looks like a little figure skater, like a little ballerina to me. But what I really love about her uh, particularly is her face up. I'll just bring her a little bit closer. She does have some a very light purple eyeshadow in her face up, and um, her eyebrows are not like too arc. They just have a slight arc. I think she's really, really pretty. I love, love, love her face. I feel like this elastic is is gonna break off the the moment that I I touch it because um, that's what happened with the other doll, her elastic um, that was in her box just kind of broke off, but she does have these little purple gems and she does have um, this adorable purple dress. So she's not a ballerina. She comes with these little pearly, uh, 
purple heels and sorry yes my nails are ratchet I know <laughs> I'm gonna remove their shellac eventually I'm in the process of like sculpting and sanding this Blythe doll faceplate for my shameless pelts shameless plug shameless palag <laughs> what was I gonna say um I chip um little doll store business on Etsy and so since I'm gonna go to town with like the art working I'm not too worried about my nails in the next um little while but here's her shoes she is a little purple princess so so cute I love her hair I cannot wait to braid it and style it and play with it this is her comb so her comb is not the classic uh, comb it's a little different really pretty uh, kind of a slightly different shade of purple and then she comes with these great little hair pieces she's got this little I don't know if this is a ponytail because it's not it's a headband because it's not stretchy so I think it would probably just sit on her head like so this however does have some stretch so it's like a little <laughs> bow with a <laughs> decorative iridescent ribbon it's like a little bit more of like a fuchsia pink and then there's a baby pink one as well so she might be cute with like even little um like buns or pigtails with these and yeah I, I mainly got her for her long hair but i really love her purple eyeshadow too so maybe one day i will restyle her um she just got silver uh, little gems for her ears and her ring, her earrings and her ring. Maybe one day I will restyle her because I think she would look fantastic with her purple eyeshadow um, in a different in a different outfit. And I feel like these eyes kind of look a little bit like uh, my two generation mold uh, dolls, but this is still a superstar sculpt, right? With her nose and her cheekbones. So yeah, she's so cute. Welcome to the family, you princess. She does have like a great little like bit of volume here with the way that her hair is styled and like the way the way that the crown sits I'm just gonna leave her as it is because I don't want um yeah, I don't want to struggle with positioning this crown it doesn't look like this crown can even sit on her head but that's kind of a brilliant way of, of holding the crown down I just want to see so it's just one elastic band and then it just hooks over here and here so I can do that with a clear elastic band I'm sure I can manage that Okay, so next up, see how fast that was? Gosh, <laughs> the other night I was a sleepy girl, but I also was just really taking this room in again because I hadn't been in it and there was like high stimulation over the weekend with the gem show that I worked and um, yeah, I was just really enjoying like the more quieter and like slower vibe of this room versus like kind of the high energy like room full of crystals and crystal people, shoppers. So Disney Fun 2nd Edition Barbie is the next Barbie we're going to unbox. Maybe we're going to put her in the closet. Okay, I just had to bring you over here for a second because how cute are they? They look like they're going to the same party. Oh my gosh. I adore them. I adore them. Okay, this girl, this girl. So one of the main reasons why I wanted to unbox her sooner than later is because... I'm a little bit worried about this jacket and I want to protect it with a layer of fabric glue and uh, maybe high gloss varnish over top of the two. Um, but it looks like it's okay so far. Obviously she hasn't been exposed to any sunlight or like handled. I love that her comb is orange and I actually really love this box. I just noticed she has like the fireworks in the background and uh, this year we actually went to the fair the yearly fair and my son had never seen the fireworks late at night so we stayed um, till the end for the fireworks it was really really lovely um, I have like a little video of it on my personal Instagram and I, I really really enjoyed that experience with him um, I'll have to experience Disneyland with him uh, I went to Disneyland when I was very young uh, I was very very fortunate to be able to spend a full summers in California and in, in LA uh, with my mom's sisters and I do remember getting one of these hats and it being the coolest thing ever and I do remember meeting Pluto he was my favorite Disney character and getting a picture with him and yeah we went to Disneyland uh, several times and I, I just remember every single time being just very magical and fun I haven't been back to Disneyland um, since I was a kid so I'd really really love to go there with my son 
goodness she is so cute okay love this little backdrop got the castle in the back this gate this little walkway barbie is having hours of fun on her magical disney day oh my goodness so was this a canadian doll it must have been because it's got the french on the back barbie i don't aller au parc euro disney okay so maybe this is friend euro disney okay so huh. interesting disney fun barbie okay so yeah it does have the english and the french on the back and then year da, 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 da. <laughs> safety tested 1994 all right let's get after her Disney exclusive, bring home the magic. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it's really quite stressful. Okay. Wow. Let's put this down here. First glance, it's got the hot pink little sneakers. Okay, how's the jacket? Oh, the jacket's actually doing okay. But I think I will do, yeah, I will put the layer on just to protect the jacket. Um, I feel like, yeah, over time, this jacket's not gonna, it's not gonna make it. She's got this little Disney purse. It's like a Mickey Mouse purse. Oh. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to bring like the vibe down or anything. Um, but yeah, her purse kind of, uh, reminded me of our family dog and I didn't really want to talk about this on social media too much, but it is something that's going on in my life and, um, I don't want to bring the vibe down and I don't want to, um, kind of like publicize this overly because it's kind of, I don't know, I'm not trying to like get any attention or like sympathy, um, it's just the reality. It's just something that's happening in our lives. It's going on in our lives. And um, it's just something that I'm, I'm facing, we're facing together. And yes, our family, uh, our family, our family talk. Um, uh, she's no longer with us um, physically, physically. And um, yeah, her name, is Mika and uh, my partner named her that because she had this she actually had this like Mickey Mouse head on her back like it literally looked it looks just like this and she actually you know I want to hold space for the memories that we have um, and she she actually was and is just the the cutest the cutest presence that has ever been um, with us. And yeah, she had this uh, Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse head um, on her back. It was so distinctive, like this exact shape on her back. And um, yeah, there's been a lot of ups and downs and um, there's been a lot of waves of tears and smiles, a lot of tears. And yeah, that's just been something that we've been facing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a little bit emotional because, uh, yeah, this, this bag really, really reminds me of, of, of her, of her bag. So, yeah, that's just what's going on. And, um, I can't ignore my emotions. The other night I journaled and I do, uh, really believe in, um, you know, just being honest and, um, you know, one of my friends was like, no social media and like try not to be too distracted um but some of the distracting in the social media was was helpful to me uh, but then I realized too I needed quiet time and in the middle of the night um it's been the hardest this is an, a fantastic orange though by the way wow um it's been the hardest because she was like my little shadow and 
she, you know, her and I spent a lot of time alone together in this house during the day and at night. And so I just found night to be the hardest for some reason. I would let her out in the middle of the night um, to go to the bathroom. And then she would kind of like wait for me down the hallway. And yeah, um, night was like, yeah, particularly challenging. But a few nights ago, um, I ended up writing her a two page letter and I uh, found that very, very helpful for me in, in kind of my grieving process. So she seems be a little bit dusty um, up on her hat and stuff here. Probably just dust that, um, you know, got into her box. Goodness, she is so pretty. Oh my gosh. See, every single face mold, like just the way that the, the molds, you know, the face is painted, the way that the eyes are painted. Like sometimes I find eyes can be like a little bit bigger, like kind of slanted upwards, but like her face um, was like painted very, very well in my opinion. Love these earrings, love this gold trim. Late 80s, early 90s, like pop star who loves Minnie Mouse. I feel like if there was a pop star that was going to Disneyland or Disney World, she would look like this. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of dust on her hat. Not too sure why, probably just infiltrated the, the box, right? 19, was that 92? So, yeah, and you know, our dog lived a uh, full life. She's French Bulldog, Boston Terrier, um, and their life expectancy is like, you know, up to 12 years, and she was 13 years, and she was 12 and a half, so, you know, full life but yeah, yeah it's, uh, oh, it's intense it's intense spend so much time all the time with your furry friends and um, yeah just yeah make the time more time as much as you can because yeah, you know. okay <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, this girl is insanely adorable. I can't even. Oh my gosh. I to cut this little tab here, but here's her little hat. She's a little dusty on the back of the hat. I'll just take the duster there. Okay, the dress is so cute. I have to like show you that it's sleeveless and just the way that it's tailored like to fit along her body with the little orange and pink polka dots ah oh, Minnie Mouse on her little like glam you know kind of varsity jacket and then her little balloon which again is attached um it has like a little like wrist thing but yeah this it's got this elastic band that looks like it's gonna snap off but I am gonna have to take this jacket off and like, yeah, prep it to last. I love this little balloon, so, so cute. Um, a little worried about like the sticker peeling off. I think it's okay, I think it's okay. Face up, we looked at, gorgeous. Cute little like sprinkles on her earrings. And then she's got also the sprinkles on her ring. Her little velvet bag, which does it open. Yes, it does. You could awkwardly have her orange comb <laughs> sticking out of there. <laughs> no, no. We'll put a little, the little Bloomingdale Barbies credit card in there. Her shoes, we've got to get on. Okay, kind of funny. Instead of the two year limited warranty, she only has the one year. And it's probably because of the, I'm thinking it's because of the jacket. <laughs> They're like, after a year, we know this jacket's gonna fall apart if it gets washed or if she gets handled too much. So we better not, better not be trying to give out free dolls and free jackets after a year. Okay, she's got her little um, hot pink sneakers on and she is ready for hours of fun for her special magical Disney day. Oh my gosh, I love her. Ah, oh, she is so special. Oh my goodness. I'm never taking this hat off of her though. I've decided because I think it's like, well, it does have this elastic band, which I'm worried is, it looks like it's going to just break off any moment here. 
So I'll just have to very carefully um, like remove her jacket so that I can like paint it. I can even just hold her hair up and um, even just like, but I, I don't think I'll get into like every little crevice if I paint it on her body. So yeah, I'll definitely have to get it off. But yeah, I'll never forget that this orange hairbrush is her hairbrush. So I've just been storing the hairbrushes uh, on their own. And I feel like she particularly needs like, I'm surprised she doesn't have a stand. I know she's not a collector doll, but she looks like a collector doll to me. Especially that she's Disney um, Minnie Mouse themed. But I'll just have to get stands for these Barbies. So, okay, we did it. I'm gonna go grab the three. That concludes the, the first series. So, <laughs> a really long part one and a nice and prompt part two of the 90s uh, Barbie haul that I recently got. We've got uh, Jewelry Fun Teresa, Pretty Choices, and second edition Disney. And yeah, I'm loving these girls. They look fabulous. They really look like, um, you know, they're from the same era and that they're really good friends. And they could all be going to Disney. She could be on the left like the connoisseur, like she's been to Disney before. She got this dress and this jacket custom made, but her hat and her balloons from Disney, and she's bringing it again, same with her purse, and she's bringing her two friends, and because it's like a kingdom, and it's like a wonderful, magical land, she told her two friends to dress up as princesses, and this is how they showed up. So thank you so much for watching, and enjoy playing with your dolls this week. Don't be shy. I would love to hear from you. Drop a line in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.